I am Na Mulan. This is the Blackface Project. What's up, YouTube? This is the one and only Namu Line. Back at you with another video. Have any of y'all seen the this year's BT War 2021? Now I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, it started off good. You know, good music, you know, I was enjoying the vibe. But what shocked me was seeing Little Nas X actually making out with a man on stage. You know, I'm one of the first ones to say, you know, express yourself. You know, enjoy your freedom of expression, freedom of choice, freedom of speech. But at the same time, when you have millions of young fans, when you have millions of parents that are fans, you know, and you produce a product where you yourself is actually making out with another man on stage. You know, you put those parents in an awkward position because which parent actually wants to be put in that position where they have to explain to their children why two men was kissing on stage? You know, that type of interaction is meant for behind closed doors and the privacy of your own home. But, you know, see, music isn't like how it was back in the 60s or 70s with Marvin Gaye, Teddy Pendergrass, you know, Earth, Wind, and Fire. You know, you don't see, you haven't seen Elton John or Liberace, you know, um, doing their music on stage at the war show. American Music Awards or such, making out with their boyfriends, you know what I'm saying, or their lover. See, when you have millions of fans, especially many of the kids that look up to you as an artist or a YouTuber or a athletic player, you know, sports star, you have a certain standard that you have to abide by. You know, you're not no regular citizen. You know, you're not no regular person. You're a celebrity. Kids look up to you. You know, some parents look up to you. And what type of position is it that a parent has to explain <clears throat> to a 12-year-old or a 13-year-old or a 9-year-old? And, and they have to explain to their child as the child comes to them and say, Mom, Dad. Why was two men kissing on the BT Awards? As a parent or as, as a guardian of a child, how can you explain that? You know, I can understand, you know, um, freedom of expression, but the same blame should be put on BT for even having the audacity to let something like that go past, you know, go through the line. So, in so many words, they are saying that for ratings and the money, they will forget about the people that help make them the station that they is now. Forget about the parents that help you become a, a black entertainment television so instead, you know, you leave the parents in the awkward position of having to explain to their children, even kids that don't understand, because a lot of people, they may not have a problem, you know, with the LBT community, but at the same time, you know, they, you know, they don't want the views or that lifestyle forced upon them. You know, a lot of people don't go out and disrespect that community. But at the same time, why should that type of lifestyle be forced upon somebody on the national stage where they have to explain to their children why was two men kissing on the BET Awards? Can anyone explain that to me? Because me, myself, you know, that type of 
interaction belongs behind closed doors. Because when you are a successful artist or successful sports star, you have a certain standard because you have plenty of fans that are kids in their teens, preteens. You know, you have a certain standard you have to live by, you know. But at the same time, you know, I think this year's BT Awards, you know, was was very tasteless for even letting something like two men making out on stage even go through. If you agree, even if you don't agree, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel. And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Turn that post notification bell on. So when I release another video, you'll be the first to know. This is Nomal Line. Until the next Blackface Project, I'm out.